Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome to a very special episode of NBA Signature Moves Training Edition. Yo, Nell, you know that we love following the NBA, all the highlights and watching all the amazing plays. And usually in NBA Signature Moves, we're reenacting them. Yep. But in this video, we are gonna be showing you guys the drills that NBA players are actually doing so that they can make those amazing plays happen. And all these NBA players train a lot. And you can follow their workouts through you know, Instagram, you know, with the trainers. And today we're gonna show you some of those workouts. So you can't say that you don't know how to train like an NBA player, because we're gonna show you guys. All right, everybody, so I'm here with Nelson Chan from Hoopin' Life. Yo, what up? And I'm here with our professional basketball trainer friend, Coach T. Lamb from 1424 Basketball Training. Yeah, what up? All right, so Coach Lamb, you had actually worked on my jumper. Yes, I did. Earlier this year. Yeah, baby. Is it safe to say my jumper got better? You can attest to this. Twice as good as you oh, were twice. Give me, give me, Give me more. Give me 10. So, what are we going to be doing today? I'm going to walk you through some of these drills NBA players are doing right now. I'm going to show you how to set it up, walk you through it, and then I'm going to have Nelson and Andrew compete and show you guys how it's done. All right, everybody, this is NBA Signature Moves Training, Training Edition. Edition. Let's, Let's go. go. All right, so our first drill that we're doing, yo, I saw this one from Victor Oladipo. He's using a chair and cones. What is he doing? He's working on a two dribble drag using cones to work his offhand. What what is what is working all the offhand do? Offhand is real important. When you get real grabby defenders, you got to be able to knock their hands off. So grabbing a cone simulates offhand activation. Our hand gets caught underneath, or it just it just falls asleep. We don't we don't use it because it's not the hand we're dribbling with. So it just it just hangs out there. So activate the arm. Activate the off arm. Exactly. Okay. Now you played a lot of ball in your life. Have you ever done this drill? Honestly said, I have not. I. Too many people surprised have not either. Grabbing that cone is simulating kind of pushing off the defender a little bit, using your off arm, activating it, and making it useful. The two dribble drag, when you're doing it, you want to imagine that you're pushing somebody right here where the rest can't see, and then you extend, and then you come back. What are some other items that they can use instead of a cone or a chair? Like, let's say they want a cone or a chair. I mean, maybe maybe you have a chair, maybe you could use a water bottle as a oh, cone. Oh, water bottle, water bottle. Yeah, I've used my thermal flask all the time, my hydro flask, I just put it down. It's the exact same thing as a cone. If you can pick it up, it's good. You guys do not need to get cones for this, okay? All right, I'm gonna try to do it as quickly as I can. Victor Oladipo. Oh! Oh! That was good. That was pretty good. All right, Nels, recovering from an injury. So we'll see how fast he can do it. Boom! Boom! Dang, this is so sad to see Nelson like this. The great hoop in life. All right, so shout out to Victor Oladipo. Very improved player. I hope he recovers. But this offseason, I saw him getting chased down with a foam roller. It looked goofy. What's going on, though? Foam rollers look crazy for Instagram, but the purpose, the real purpose, is to mimic a 7-foot or 6'10 athlete. That us, us trainers, we just 6 feet tall, so we can't mimic those elite athletes, so we got to use the help of a foam roller. Foam roller. Oh! Yeah, shoot higher than that. <laughs> up seven feet. Hold up. All right, so if you don't have a foam roller, coach, what else can you use? You gotta find a friend that's 6'10", but yeah, brooms, foam rollers. Uh, I got I got pool noodles here, anything. All right, you heard it. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Ah! Finishing over a, a 6'10 guy. Feels real good right now. Ah! Ah! Not in my house. I know it's Nelson with a foam roller. No, don't wait. I got scared. It is, it is so different once you get full length on you. So if you've never played against someone with a length, you don't know how to react. So that's the purpose of the foam roller. It's intimidating. All right, let me try to make it. Nelson, go hard at me, all right? Five, four, three, two, oh! Two, oh! oh. That's why us trainers don't play no defense anymore. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> we don't play defense anymore. It's just dummy defense so the players can get the reads. It, it, it's hard. It's hard. 
Yeah, that's what I do to 6'10 guys. I'm saying, you big man, want to come Next challenge time, me? I, that's I, you challenge them is you step on their foot, you push them down, and then you finish the layup afterwards. So this next workout is where CJ McCollum works out with Chris Brickley. CJ McCollum is known to have some of the most moves in the NBA. He has a lot of combos, and he's filthy with the handle. Okay, so with this three balls, he's going to dribble one ball on one rhythm, and he's going to take the other two and dribble both with one hand like this. And he has to keep two different rhythms. It works your hand-eye coordination like crazy and it confuses your brain because you have to balance multiple rhythms. Once I show them this, we're gonna have them compete, see who could get the most dribbles in and see who dribbles the longest. All right, so let's see the drill. Let's see if uh, you can do it. Yo, that looks incredibly hard right now. Get it. One, two. You gotta be a little bit more fluid so you can adjust to it. You gotta control your tap here. They gotta be four right now. Four That's dribbles on the right. Yep. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five, eight, eight. I think Nell's getting called with the carry on this one. All right. He's on eight. Eight? Make your bet. How long do you think I could do it successfully? Five okay. seconds. Five? Two, maybe four dribbles. <laughs> Guys, fingertips, control yeah. that dribble. Don't yeah, it's a little smack tap. it. Yeah, it's a little you, tap. Gotta, you, gotta use, you gotta be real light with them light. fingertips. Gentle touch. Something I need to work on. Let me try one more time. Let's go. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I almost hurt myself on that drill. Dog. All right, Coach, I, I, gotta, I gotta ask something. When they do these drills, how good is the trainer? Because I think a lot of people think, oh, this person's training an NBA player. They've got to be better than the NBA player or not necessarily. NBA skills trainers, they don't have the athleticism as, as these guys. They might have more skill because skill takes a long time to develop. Would it kind of be like that old saying where those who can't do teach? Like these guys can't make it to the NBA, but they can teach the NBA players. No, I, I wouldn't say that. Uh, it's, it's a different skill to teach versus do. Some of the greatest players can't teach. So Kobe, Magic, Jordan, these guys can't teach because they're so good. It usually takes somebody that's had to rise up, rise up, learn all the skills the hard way for them to teach somebody. All right, so on this next drill, of course, one of the most famous off-season training videos ever, we are going to be copying Hoodie Mello. They've continued to extend it oh, more and more. Oh, Carmelo is going to take a shot. <laughs> Smart decision, Mello. Which, correction, is not currently on an NBA team right now. Nelson, you've done these drills before. I have. So I expect you to be able to do it. Okay. Fair? All right. So walk us through it. What, what are we going to be doing? So these guys are going to dribble down, alternating dribbles. They're going to go between their legs one time, pass to the corner, and I'm giving the ball right back, and they're going to shoot that next one. So it's going to work on two ball dribbling, passing on the move, shooting off the dribble, and then shooting on the catch. How come Hoodie Mello is not in the NBA right now. Ooh, I think that's NBA politics, baby. Okay. He, he could get buckets. Let's do the Hoodie Mellow drill. Hoodie Nello. Let's go. So it works on dribbling two and then throwing actually a good pass with the other hand. Gotta work on that shovel pass. Boom! Oh, okay. Yeah. oh yeah! Like that? Like that, man? Now do it with the cross. Nope. Nope. One more time, one more. I'll take it. Why does that drill seem so hard? Or is it not hard? It's hard because you've never passed off the dribble with your last hand, with speed, underhand, shovel, all things you don't learn. That's not fundamental, but in the game, you need it. This next drill is Alonzo Trier working with Chris Brickley. It's a one dribble explosion to the rim. We're gonna see how many Andrew can make in 30 seconds. Coach Lamb, I don't know if you knew this though, Alonzo Trier is part Asian. Oh, I did not know that. Nelly's out of this one, recovering from the, a hamstring. I'm the, I'm the rebounder, I'm the rebounder. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna see how many I can make in 30 seconds. How many you got? How many you think you are, I'm gonna make in 30 seconds? Bet. We gotta keep it secret. I'm going. He can only get like eight, bro. Eight. Uh, I feel like that's, that's, that's a lot. lot. I mean, it's not. 
that. Look at him, look far. at him, he's warming up. All right, 10. I'll, say he's he get, up. I'll give I, I, I have some faith in him. I'm going to say he can get 10. He can get 10. Well, I, I know Andrew a little bit better. I know. Do you guys well. believe in me or what, oh, man? No, uh, I do, I do. So you better go hard. Hey, and you got to make them. All right, Andrews. I have very high expectations for you, all right? I have a high number of made layups. So you better complete them. We all have right. a lot on the line for, to win this game. All right, man. You ready? I believe in you. That's why I have so high expectations. I know you can do this. We're going to win this game. You're going to hit the shots. You're going to be a star. Okay. I don't know how many layups you think I'm going to make, but I'm going to make that many. Coach Liam, you're going to be counting and timing. Yep. Nelson, you're going to be rebounding okay. and passing. So we're going to see how many I can make. I don't know what number you guys have in mind for me, but judging by your guys' reactions, I'm going to know whether I hit your number or your number, all right? Okay. 30 seconds on the clock. Ready? Hey, behind the line, cheater. Coaches are sticklers I'm for lines. Five, nine, coach. Coaches are sticklers I'm for only lines. Five, nine. My That's a long way. Ain't that big. That's a long way for a little Asian. Ready? Ah! <laughs> Ready, set, go. Don't tell me the number. I'm gonna do one more. Hold you up. Go just as slow as my dog. And she's like this big. Do one more round. If you can go a little harder, I think you can do it. Think but you gotta go there. hard. Alonzo! Tree! Alonzo! Ready, set, go. Oh, yeah. What? 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 <laughs> Hey, that's 200 push up. It's hard. Actually, kind of. I, had, I guess I had too much faith in you. I said you're going to get 10. What did you say? I had I had eight. Hey, you want to do it again? You want to try to get eight? What did I do? Hey, he didn't even get eight attempts up, though. He got five and he got four. He got seven but I didn't even get eight attempts, though. I feel like he's not going fast enough. That's Pretty a fun. long way. That's a long way for a 5'7 man. I don't know if I can do another one and then finish this video, guys. Nelly would have smoked him on that easy. Nelly would have got 10. A healthy Nelly. Two hamstring Nelly. Not, not, a, not a torn hamstring Nelly. All right, let me go one more time since y'all talking. <laughs> Lop sop. You got to take off from here so you don't over jump yeah, it and over you all the way over here. You got to go. Bam. And then, and then go. Yeah. Right. Right. 30 seconds. Can you be eight? Ready, set, go. Ah! <laughs> Six out of seven. Six out of seven. He's burning. He's burning. His hamstrings, his calves are probably burning. What's the next drill? What's the next drill, guys? So this next drill is for Ennis Cantor's putbacks. So he's gonna work on you know getting quick off the ground on the you know putbacks or rebounds. He's gonna tip it twice on the backboard, and then on the third one he's gonna tip it in. We're gonna work on your jumping. So your plyometrics. You got to jump up three times real quick. You got to have soft hands and you're doing one-handed because a lot of times when you rebound, the other hand's being held down. And you know, since sometimes when I play, I end up playing the four or five. So that's why this is important. Yeah, At five, nine, he plays hey, the four I do five. guard, I do always guard the five. All right, let's see how many attempts it takes to make two. Maybe now it's two for two. Maybe it's two for three, two for four. One, two, right there. Oh, oh easy. Right, right then you gotta do it with the left hand. Yeah. One, two. Okay. Two for two, baby. Two for two, all right. Bad boys, huh? Right, you're not making a live yet. You don't got that bounce like you. There it is. There it is. Hit it. One. When you rebound, and you you don't want to drop your elbow too far. You want to keep it here. So you're just doing a short shoulder motion. It's shoulder and wrist. It is. Get to. How's your offhand? Oh, oh my God. That should answer it. That oh should answer God. how my offhand is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all feel like that was in the final four, bro? You know how many people they missed those layups? Last one. You got it. If you I don't it. get it, I don't get it. One. You got it. You got it. Three. You got it. You got it. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. Good pass. Yeah. Good pass. Nah, I never want to play like Ennis Cantor anyway. Yeah. Coach, I quit. I quit, man. man. You can't say that. I don't want to make this anymore. You can't teach them to quit. You cannot say the Q word. I believe in you. That's why I have so high expectations. I know you can do this. Why is it so hard, coach? It's so hard because one, you out of shape. Okay. But two, you gotta have a lot of bounce. Co hey, coach, he's is straight, he, it's straight forward. He's not left-handed. He doesn't work on his left hand. Yeah. His his left you hand rebound. His left hand layup. His left hand shovel was a little tough. 
but it's all right. That, that identifies his weakness, yeah. so that's where we know where we can we go can to work. work. On, yeah. That's a very solid advice. A very solid play. All right, this last drill that we got was a really viral one of the USA team doing a one-on-one -on -one two dribble rollout. Okay, for this USA one-on-one -on -one drill, we're gonna have them start at the elbow and just basically play one-on-one. -on -one. The only limitation here is two dribbles max. So we use two dribbles because usually on the first dribble, that's when coaches send double teams. Normally when a guy catches it, he has a live dribble. So you don't know when to send the double team. So when he goes to make a move, that's when you send the double team. Oh, okay. they want you to score within two dribbles or less before a double team comes. Right. Yeah. If you're taking two dribbles, by the time you take a second dribble, you're going to get a help side, you're going to get rotation, you're going to get guys sagging in. So you got to be efficient and quick with your two dribbles. Usually it's only one. Me and Nelson are going to play some one-on-one. -on -one. USA team style. Everybody. So in the comments below, let me know if you guys learned a lot and also let me know what other moves or training drills you would like us to explain in a next episode of NBA Signature Moves because to be honest, I learned a lot from this too. And honestly, you guys cannot say you've never seen NBA drills now. Since I have a professional basketball and fitness coach right here, give three quick tips for anybody out there. What are three quick tips? You need to build a solid flexibility and mobility routine. That means when you go into the gym, you gotta get your leg kicks, your quad grabs, your glutes. Okay. You gotta hit the routine, just like you have a shooting routine, a dribble routine, you gotta have a flexibility and mobility routine. Tip number two, if you are serious about basketball, you have to, have to, have to do it every day. Every day the game is advancing, it's getting faster, it's getting more skilled. Everybody has to have guard skills because it's becoming positionless. So if you're not practicing every day, you are seriously falling behind, not just in the US, China, and the world. And the last tip for all the young viewers, you got to recover. That means water and sleep. So water and sleep. Most of you guys aren't sleeping enough and not even drinking enough water, you're gonna cramp. And if you're waking up sleepy, your muscles and your body's not gonna perform the way you want it to. Couple questions. You see a lot of training videos and training drills on Instagram. Yep. Are they, for the most part, legit? How can you tell and should you imitate them all? If you're watching Instagram for, for training videos, you gotta understand the purpose of each drill. So if we bring foam rollers, it's to imitate seven footers. If we bring in cones, it's, it's to imitate or activate our offhand. You gotta understand the purpose of every drill. Don't just, just, don't just go do it. The what is more important than the how. And it doesn't matter if I'm teaching you, you guys are teaching any other trainer out there, the what is always more important than the how. Yo, big shout out to Coach T. Lamb. T. Lamb, real quick, can you explain your 1424 basketball training? 1424, that's 14 minutes, 24 seconds. That's exactly 1% of your day. So all I want you to do every single day is just take 1% of your day and get better every day. Where else can they find you? You can find me at 1424.com. You can DM me on Instagram at Coach T. Lamb. I got groups running at Arcadia, seven to nine. If you want privates, let me know in the DM. All right, everybody, thanks for watching that video. Shout out to Nelson Chan for Hoop and Life. Recovering from a hamstring injury. Get well soon, Nelly. Thank you, thank you. Okay, pray, hey. pray for Nelly. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching that training episode of NBA Signature Moves. Hope you liked it. Give us a thumbs up. I know we haven't done an NBA video in a long time, but hey, we still got them coming. All right, everybody, until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.